that. Would be Thank you. Mm-hmm. You can start when you're ready. Thank you for the opportunity, uh, Senator and uh, panel, to uh, address this uh, this uh, us, uh, today. Uh, I represent a couple of organizations, uh, Black Trans Women Inc., uh, which is based in Dallas, Texas, and the Trans United Fund. I also sit on uh, Mayor Turner's LGBT Advisory Committee in, uh, in my hometown of Houston. Like you, Senator Colcourts, I have share something similar to you. I'm a fourth generation Texan, but my ancestors came here in chains. And unfortunately, Texas has a long history of oppression against marginalized groups. And that, that history, sadly, as a Texan and a proud Texan, ashamed, it makes me ashamed in terms of seeing what the, the Texas Transgender Oppression Act is what I call SB6. We had someone earlier in the day talk about unjust laws. And here's what Dr. King had to say, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. An unjust law is a code that a numerical or power majority compels a minority group to obey but does not make binding upon itself. Would you, Senator Cole Courts, do what you're trying to force me and other trans women to do in order to go to a men's bathroom? I think not. So in that way, SB6 meets the test of an unjust law. And one of the other things that has bothered me today is I'm one of the few people today as part of the group that we've talked about today in terms of black trans women. Most of my sisters are not able to be here or can't be here because we are trying to get by in many cases on less than $10,000 a year. This bill will exacerbate the discrimination that we face in this state and I oppose it tremendously. Okay, thank you. 